Calvin is, um, you know, he, he, like always, is a, you know, businessman, a pillar of the community, uh, but now being challenged by uh, uh, the fact of the growing violence that's uh, happening in the streets of Chicago uh, is affecting his, his only child. His uh, son is uh, coming of age, um, you know, 14, 15 years old, being influenced by the neighborhood, by the streets, by his friends, and he feels like he may have to make a change and, and take his family away from the South Side that he knows and loves. We, you know, we talk about a lot about in this movie uh, is that the barbershop, the reason why I feel like this movie resonates so much is that it is a, you know, as I described in the first one, it is a country club. It is this kind of safe haven for the community, for the neighborhood to come. They get to speak their mind openly. There are dissenting opinions. Everybody, you know, surprisingly enough, when you, you know, you kind of hear uh, an African-American point of view, people all kind of think that, everyone is clumped together. Well, in the barbershop, you come to find out that there are people with Republican stands, with conservative values, with those kind of things that, uh, you, you know, and I feel like this is what we wanted to try to express more in the barbershop this time is that not everybody thinks the same, not everybody agrees that, you know, um, this is the way it should be done. You know, I think, again, the platform and the way this movie was set up uh, since, you know, the beginning is that um, we were really able to capture that true atmosphere of being inside a place where it's okay to say exactly what you're feeling and to know that it's left there, like, so to speak. Like, I get to say it, we argue about it, and... That's it. I'll can, I can come in here tomorrow. Nobody's going to go, oh, you're no longer welcome because you think this way. You, why, you right back to the barbershop and we start all over again. This character is one of my favorite characters. Uh, you know, I've done a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of movies and a lot of opportunity, but the thing about Eddie is, is I, I do believe it's true. Once I put the makeup on and I get into this character, it is this freedom to know that you've lived, that you've you don't have to prove anything to anybody, and therefore the truth that you want to say is the truth you gotta say. So I don't really. I don't think a lot about what I'm doing. I'm usually listening in the scene, and then I'm just diving. <laughs> it was funny, at one of the first table reads, I was like, you know, they were kind of going around the, the, the table and everybody's kind of introducing themselves and saying the new characters. And I, I love Lamorne and then uh, uh, Ukarsh, you know, funny, great young guy. I love like we know what they brought to it. And I said, the guys, you know, we are here for Barbershop 3. <laughs>